Hello Bakugan Brawlers and welcome to another Bakugan video. Today I'm gonna be talking about the power of Bakugan Battle Gear. So in this video I'll first give a few information about what is a Battle Gear and then I'm gonna go over five reasons on why a Battle Gear is a very powerful support piece to use during a battle. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Battle Gear is the second Bakugan support piece introduced. It was first seen during New Vistroya, but was popularized and officially sold in stores during the Gondalian Invaders era. Battle Gears are played during battle and it gives you a G power bonus plus an extra ability bonus that is shown on the Battle Gear reference card. I have left a link on how to play Bakugan Battle Gear so if you aren't aware of the rules watch the official Bakugan video first to get a better understanding. The first reason is that Battle Gear G power can compete with a lot of Mectagon's G power level. For example, a Silver Cross Striker gives you a 140 G's boost. Also, the rule does not specify if you can use a Sega Toy slash Japanese Battle Gear, as these versions of Battle Gear can reach up to 200 G's, such as my Copper Zucinator. The second reason is that all Battle Gear comes with their own reference card. These cards display the ability bonus which can be played with matching the according attributes shown or if you stand on the matching color gate card with your battle gear you can pick either ability bonus to use no matter what attribute you are. A great example of this is Gegarth Ventus ability bonus. It says Remove one ability card from your used pile from the game then move one ability card from your used pile to your unused pile. This is basically a great way to reuse one of your powerful ability card in battle. The third reason is that there are tons of abilities and gate cards that affect a battle gear in battle. Most of the gate card gives a 2 time battle gear printed G boost and also some allows you to block which color of battle gear is being played. Here are two cards that I recommend playing. Copper Sword, which gives a copper gear a printed G power and extra time. And AG Wind, a silver gate card, which only allows silver battle gear being played in this battle. The fourth reason is how certain battle gear reference card can affect the entire battle. This can be from using your opponent's used ability card to making you win a gate card the more easy way. Battle Gear Lash or Ventus ability effect allows you to, to take one of your enemy's used ability card. For something more intense, Barrier's Gear Chaos ability effect allows you to win one empty gate card on the field if you lose a battle by more than 300 G's difference against your opponent. The final reason which I like to call it the recycling effect, this applies to all support pieces but the power is more noticeable when using a battle gear, mobile assault and battle suit. Since support pieces work like your bakugan which moves from your used pile to your unused pile and the other way around, this can give a great advantage since the battle gear reference card effects are still available for you to use when deploying the battle gear. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe and share for more awesome Bakugan content. See you in the next Bakugan video.